definitely some rust. But now that the battery tray's out, we might be able to repair that a little bit. Hey, so we got the battery tray out finally. This is still structurally sound. We could keep this. Um, we did decide that we don't want another welding battery tray. So we definitely want something that bolts through the fender, maybe with a rib nut. So we could recoat this. Or I know Z Car Depot makes another battery tray um, that is also a good option, a little shinier, pretty sleek. Or for the third option, Nick's gonna work some magic. Nick has an idea for a new battery tray, a custom battery tray. And that's a mouse. A custom battery tray for the Z. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be cool. Hey guys, we got the battery tray out of the Datsun. It looks pretty rusty, so what I'm gonna do now is drop a new one in SolidWorks so we can cut it out on the CNC plasma cutter. And I'm using SolidWorks just because that's what I'm familiar with. That's what I use every day. If you're looking for a free program, I would suggest Fusion 360. And that's actually what I'm going to be using to do the plasma cutting programming. So let's get started. I think there's squirrels on the roof. I haven't decided if I want to try to make this a curved flange or not to match the original one. You can see it's got a curve. It might be a little tricky to make. Safety wear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's cut this. What do you got there? Okay, so tonight we're gonna bend up the final bend on the battery tray, and it's a tricky one. It's kind of an arc, because Nick got really fancy with the, with the design, and it's gonna be really cool, but it's really hard to bend. So thanks to our friend Jake. Jake did the, the main bends on it, and now we have to figure out the arc. 
So Nick, match the arc on plywood. And we're gonna try and sandwich it in and then bend it over to match the profile. So we can just clamp it in the vise and hopefully form it over with a hammer. That's the idea. That's what we're gonna go for. You might need to adjust, but we'll see. Which is this is gonna work. Not on YouTube. Look at it. We just bent our first arc. Well, bam. I'm going to play ball. Pick it up. That was awesome, babe. You made a beautiful battery tray. Cool. Now we just need metal underneath the battery tray to mount the battery tray. Get in there. Pretty cool. Look at that Z. How many gals get Z's made? I'm pretty lucky. So one of the other things we wanted to do to this battery tray was add some dimple dies to the three holes. And my brother Randall 3D printed some inch and a half dimple dies that we're going to try. The way it works is the round portion there fits through the hole and then there's a mating piece and then when you put them in the press and squeeze them together it should add this tapered form shape to each of these three holes. So now we can just put it in the press and Collapse it. That turned out pretty well. Just need it two more times now. Doesn't look like there's any wear on this. This is 60,000 stainless. That's cool. That worked really well. So now I think all we have to do is weld up this corner, clean it back up, and it should be done. Free. <laughs> you ready to work on Z? Oh. Thirty-six degrees. Punching holes. Just like that. <laughs> Estimate right there. You got me started the wrong way. Nice right. try. Eh? Lena, both balls really the safety hazard. Well, it's one of the mounting holes for the better tray that we couldn't get to with the with the tool, the rib nut tool. So, so now we're using we're the, the old school way. Use the bolt and nut to compress it. See how this works. Very nice. One more. Check it out. There it is. Brand new battery tray. Fancy stainless hardware. And even dimples.
How cool is that? And a Z. I've never seen another battery tree with a Z like that. Designed by that guy. Pretty cool. One of a kind right there. I'm excited. We still have to figure out how to lock in the battery, but we'll do that later. That should just be... Nick did some research and found out that this top pole up here is actually for a clamp that goes over the top of the battery. So we might just need to drill a hole here in the corner for that top clamp, but it's all done. And it's not welded in. It'll be so nice just to be able to zip out those bolts and have it in and out just like that, so. Get it. Heck yeah.